Hi, in, uh, in this uh, EVIS tutorial, we will uh, discuss uh, the results from our least square um, regression. In uh, the first uh, column uh, coefficient, uh, you can uh, see the estimated uh, coefficient and uh, uh, the coefficient on uh, education has a percentage interpretation which is multiplied by 100 so it's telling you that which uh, increases by 5.9% uh, for every additional year of uh, education so this is what uh, we mean when we refer to the return to another year of um, education. It is important to remember that the main reason for using the lock of VH is to impose a constant percentage effect of uh, education on uh, VH. Once uh, the equation uh, is uh, obtained, then uh, the natural log of which is uh, rarely mentioned. Uh, in uh, particular, it is not correct uh, to say that another year of education will increase the log wage by 5.9%. Uh, 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 um, in um, order to look uh, in more detail in uh, these um, functional forms, you can always refer to table 2.3 on uh, page uh, 46 uh, in your books uh, and uh, this table uh, gives you a summary of how you should interpret the coefficients uh, whether uh, in uh, uh, the case when we're looking at a level level model level lock model lock level model or, or lock lock uh, uh, model the intercept um, as it is, it's not uh, very mean meaningful because it gives the predicted uh, log wage when uh, education is uh, uh, equal to uh, zero. On uh, the column uh, standard uh, error, um, you can uh, see the estimated standard errors of uh, the coefficient uh, estimates. Uh, the standard errors measure the statistical reliability of the coefficient estimates uh, so the larger the standard errors, uh, it means that the more statistical noise uh, there is in uh, our estimates. The t statistics is computed as the ratio of uh, an estimated coefficient to its to its uh, standard uh, error, and uh, is used to test the hypothesis that a coefficient is equal to zero. And uh, finally, it is given um, a column of. Uh, probability and um, it shows the probability of drawing a t-statistic uh, as extreme as uh, the one actually observed under the assumption that the errors are normally distributed. Uh, this uh, probability is also known as the p-value or the marginal significance level. Given the p-value you can tell um, if you reject or accept the hypothesis that the true coefficient is zero against a two-sided alternative that it differs from zero. For example, if you are performing the test at the five significance level, five percent significance level, a p-value lower than 0 0.05 is taken as evidence to reject the null hypothesis of a zero coefficient. If you want to conduct a, a one-sided test, the appropriate probability is one half uh, from the one uh, which uh, is reported in uh, views. Um, in uh, the bottom panel uh, of the regression we have um, uh, 12 um, other uh, summary statistics. I will give a brief introduction of each of these uh, summary statistics but at this point of uh, the course you're not expected to know all of them and uh, you will go through each of them uh, as um, um, during uh, the course. Uh, First, um, you will always see the R squared, and um, in uh, this particular case, it is telling you that uh, our regression accounts for 9.74% of the variance in the dependent variable, and the estimated standard deviation of the error term is um, uh, 40. 
is uh, 0 0.40. The adjusted uh, R squared uh, makes uh, an adjustment to R squared uh, to take account of the number of right hand side variables in the regression as setting another right hand side variable to the reg regression. Um, always increases R squared. Uh, on uh, the right side, here you have the mean dependent uh, variable and uh, then the standard deviation of the dependent uh, uh, variable and uh, they report the sample mean and uh, standard deviation of the left hand side uh, variable. These are the same numbers you would get by asking for descriptive statistics on the left hand side uh, variable. We have uh, also five um, other elements. Um, um, these are the sum of squared uh, residuals, uh, the log likelihood, uh, the Akai Kainfo criterion, and the Schwartz criterion, and the uh, Hanna Quinn criterion. They are all used for making statistical comparisons between two different regressions. This means that they don't really help us learn anything about the regression we are working on. Rather, these statistics are useful for deciding if uh, one model is better than another. The sum of squared uh, residuals is uh, used uh, in computing uh, the F-test uh, and uh, the log likelihood is uh, used for computing uh, likelihood ratio tests uh, while the Akaike and the Schwartz criteria are used in uh, Bayesian uh, model comparison. The durbin watson uh, stat um, is the classical test uh, statistics for serial correlation and uh, durbin watson uh, stat uh, close to 2 is consistent with no serial correlation while a number of um, a 0 means that there probably is a serial correlation. In our particular case, uh, the durbin watson stat uh, is um, equal to 1.78, so uh, this uh, is telling you that most probably we don't have a strong um, serial correlation. Um, we will look at the Darwin Watson and uh, other tests uh, for uh, serial co correlation uh, later in uh, the course.